I've got such a special video for you today. As I've mentioned in some of my previous videos, my husband and I are expecting our first child. And by the time you're watching this video, he's probably already arrived, yay! But since I knew I was gonna be taking some time off to focus on my recovery and spending time with all of my boys, I didn't wanna leave you guys hanging. So I have arranged for some special guests to fill in for me while I'm gone. And today I am kicking things off with some of the Hologies VIPs. I reached out to my VIP list and invited my super smarty VIPs to share their expertise with you today. If you want to become a Holly G VIP, sign up now using the link in the description below. I am beyond thrilled and proud to have these special guests here with me today. So let's go check it out. Hello, Holly G. Um, I'd just like to say congratulations on the new addition of your family and uh, that you uh, inspire me all the time to keep going with my channel. And uh, my one tip is um, if you have a USB microphone, if you plug it into your Mac laptop or a Mac computer, uh, if you type, if you press the FN key on the lower left of the keyboard, it uh, opens the microphone and then you can uh, dictate into pages your uh, dialogue. Um, you can go back into pages and, and edit your, your text once it's recorded and then copy and paste that into your uh, YouTube video or use it how you like, and make the, make the, hopefully make the process a little little smoother. Um, yeah, so I'll be I'll be making a full length video of that and putting that on my channel. Again, congratulations, and wish you all the best. Bye. Hey guys, Amanda Berlin here with three things to do to get media ready. The first thing to do: figure out which media is right for you. Can you generate a big mass market message? Go for television. If you want to target a niche and try to really bring in clients, try podcasts. Second thing to do, figure out what you have to say. You have to approach media with a story. Generate your profile story, your personal and professional journey, or a particular how-to story that targets your expertise. Third, upgrade your media mindset. That means remember that you have something valuable to say and that there are people out there just waiting to hear for you. The media also really wants to hear from you as great content that you generate and great ideas will help them do their job better. Learn more about me at amandaberlin.com and I can't wait to see you out there in the media. Hi hey everyone, it's me, Bonnie L. Frank, and I am here with two video tips. So tip number one can be used for regular video that you produce, you know, for YouTube or Vimeo, um, and it can also be used for live streaming, and I'm a daily live streamer. You might even know me from Periscope or Facebook Live. So video tip number one is look into the camera. I am on my MacBook right now, I'm on my desktop, and the camera's this teeny tiny little green light, and that that's what I'm looking at because that makes it look as though I'm really talking to you like I'm looking in your eyes look how it looks when I watch myself on the screen now I'm watching myself on the screen well that doesn't look like I'm talking to you at all so look into the camera and number two tip number two please have a call to action my call to action for you is check me out on Twitter at Bonnie L Frank Hi there and welcome to the Holly G Studios YouTube channel. Do you have a goal with your videos? Do you have set a goal where you want to see yourself within a couple of months or maybe even within a couple of years? Where are you going with your videos? Do you want to create content just because you want to create content or do you actually have a story to tell? The more you can show in the video that you are working towards a bigger goal, the more it will represent you as somebody that knows what they are doing. It sounds pretty obvious actually, but it's very easy to just create a video because you want to create a video. I mean, I did it. I created a couple of videos that are pretty much worthless because they're totally out of context. So that's not something that you want. If you want to grow your business with video, you should create a video that actually means something and that is part of a bigger story. So a fun thing that you can do is to write your story on a piece of paper and make a video that contains little parts of that story so that all of the videos are part of the full story. Try it out and see where it gets you. So that's it for this video. My name was Maurice from AnimousMusic.com and I will see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to Hology Studios right down here. Bye bye.
Hey guys, it's Veronica McDermott from Words My Way. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is my new tip series, 10 ways to get people to read what you write in your blog articles. So tip number one is know who your audience is. So knowing who your ideal client is, is the basic need for creating content that actually gets absorbed and read and valued. If you don't know who your ideal client is, you need to find out. Instead of just saying, I write blog articles for everybody, um, writing blog articles for a particular market is actually going to serve you better and serve them better. Because obviously you can tailor make your content to be more meaningful and more relevant if you know who you're writing for. So don't forget to ask yourself, who am I writing for next time you start a blog? Thanks very much and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye. Hi, so my name is Dr. Jenny Beck, Dr. Beck, and I run a YouTube channel about sign language and chiropractic. And today I just want to give a quick tip. If you have a patient, a client, someone that he has a hearing loss and you want to communicate with them, uh, learning some basic signs is a good idea. But also make sure that they can see your lips when you talk to them, look them in the eye, don't yell, um, make sure that you speak clearly and communicate and also learning some basic science is a great idea and a great way to communicate. So that's just my quick tip for today and thank you and I'll see you later. Bye. Before we start, just a quick shout out to Holly and Justin and congratulations on your new game changer. This little bundle of joy is going to keep you running and there will be ups and downs taken from this mama. It's going to be the best ride of your life. So one of the things that people mention to me all the time is that they love looking at my office when I'm shooting my videos. And they don't always type it in the comments below, but what they do is um, when I see them or they'll comment, oh, I, I, yeah, I saw your office, all right, they feel like they know me because they are in my space. I don't shoot it like in my bedroom or in my bathroom or wherever else it is that, you know, people do it. And, and yes, I will go on when I do Facebook Lives kind of all over the place where it's the best sound and the best lighting. But the biggest, you know, tip and trick is to make it feel authentic and make it feel upbeat. So there are some strate strategically placed things going on here and it's not perfect. Just like this video isn't going to be perfect because I'm not perfect. So, you know, over here you've got some you know, messy papers. You might see a little nudge of that over there. Over my shoulder here, I have these Feel the Love transformation cards. These are cards that I use, I sell online, but I'm also an event planner. So I have this like duality going on. So you'll see there's a few voted best event planner, best of Westchester, some of the accolades that are part of the environment without kind of screaming. It just makes the people watching going, hmm, what you got going on over there? There's something visually interesting. So I hope that helps. Um, most importantly, just get in front of the camera and practice because the more you do it, the less scary it becomes. And then you sort of realize this is how you can have your voice. All right. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the other side. I hope to see some of your videos. If you're watching this video and you're pregnant or you know someone who is, I'm going to share a common conversation I have with pregnant women and a myth about the postpartum transition and life with a new baby. I'm Shalene Massey. I'm a certified doula and childbirth educator with Rhythm of Birth, rhythmofbirth.com, and I've been supporting couples on their pregnancy and birth journey since 2012. Most women I meet with share how scared they are and freaked out about the thought of pain during labor. Birth involves pain and intensity however you're planning to birth, whether you're planning to birth unmedicated or with an epidural or medicated. It's so important to prepare during pregnancy to cope with the intensity of labor, whether that's intensity of decisions that have to be made or coping with the pain. I teach practices and techniques to help women to learn to cope with the pain of labor physically, mentally, and emotionally. Also, you may have heard or your care provider might tell you that the postpartum transition lasts about four to six weeks. That's the physical transition. The mental and emotional transition can last up to three years. 
it's so important to have a plan in place and a support system in place during pregnancy to minimize the risk of postpartum depression and to experience postpartum peace and bliss. I encourage you to begin preparing for your birth and postpartum transition, and I'd love for you to contact me and learn the ways that I can help you prepare and support you on your journey. Hello there, Gracie Ruth here, digital strategist and messenger marketing expert. But you would ask, what is messenger marketing? Well, messenger marketing is simply the act of connecting with your clients and prospects using a messenger app. It is similar to email marketing, but the difference is that it's instant. You connect with your clients and there's an interaction. You start a conversation. You nurture a conversation and it goes down into delivering better customer service and delivering a new funnel system in this case is communication because the new way to market the new marketing is relationship marketing that was awesome i would like to thank all of my guests i highly recommend you go and check them out i've included all of the vips youtube channel links in the description below so go on over and give them a subscribe and if you like this video make sure to like it and if you know someone else who might like it go ahead and share it up I talk about all things business cinema, which is video with a plan, a purpose, a system, and a strategy. So if you wanna learn more about business cinema, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and click the bell so you can get the notifications when new videos go live. And remember, you're someone's reason to smile, so don't give up.